Okay, we're going to have a go at producing this plot of three different cross sections. This is um, showing tritium production and neutron multiplication. And we're going to use excess plot. So when you go to excess plot, you'll see this large table and it's got a few thousand pages in. Now you can, of course, scroll through the pages and see all of the reactions there, but that would take a long time. So instead, we're going to use these filters. This is the row below the headers of each table. Lithium. Uh, I put lithium in and I'm pressing enter. And now that filters down to just six pages of reactions. And I'm going to use the MT reaction number, which if you haven't come across this before, this is a unique number that describes each reference. And I've got a link here on the web page. So here you go. This is a, a description of all the MT numbers on the left and their reactions with a bit more descriptions. There are other ones available and I'll add some more links if you prefer this um, slightly different layout. But MT number for tritium production, total tritium production is 205. So I put that in and press enter and I get two that match my filter for lithium and tritium production. So I've got one which is lithium-7 and one which is lithium-6. So I'll just tick this checkbox on the left-hand side to add lithium-7 and again to add lithium-6. So now I'm going to remove my filters by deleting them and pressing Enter and deleting them and pressing Enter. And now I've got 1,200 odd um, pages again. Now I also wanted to add beryllium, so I'm going to put in beryllium here, and I wanted the neutron multiplication. So in the reaction products, I'm going to put 2n for two neutrons in the exit channel. And here it's filtered down again, and it's got one result. So I'm going to tick that. And then we've got the graph that um, we showed earlier. Of course, you can have log or linear scales for the axis, depending on what combination you want. Um, but I think this one looks pretty good on log, log. You can also zoom in to the data and you can also take a little, a picture. And you can download the data and um, then you, you can open that on your local computer. Let's just download that again. There you see, you've got a JSON file containing all the data which you can um, plot locally with um, whatever you prefer to plot things with. You can change the axis scale, so I've got EV plotted. But if you want MEV or something else, you can you can change that. Um, so that's a simple use cases for all of this. I'm now going to clear the data and show some more advanced features. So this filtering um, uses contains logic. So if I put something like tin into the atomic symbol filter. And let's say I want to plot um, neutron multiplication. Now I, I know that's MT16, but we'll put it in like this just to show you what can happen. So 2n appears in all of these entries, and I've got three pages of entries through still, because there's some 2n alpha, 2n just on its own, 2np. So to nail down the um, reaction product, we can say specifically look for just 2n and nothing else because it's, it's using contains by default, but you put an equals in front of it and it will be exact matching. Now this has some other benefits as well. So if we go over on the left, tin has got a lot of isotopes. So I'm going to sort using this little arrow, sort by mass number. And I can apply more filters using um, operators. 
So if I want to say greater than um, 118, you can do that. And then we can we can relax this constraint a bit and say everything with neutral multiplication in, which is greater than 118. So there's there's some more advanced filtering that you can apply to the table. The other thing is once you've added your cross sections to the table, you can also remove them. So you can remove them in two ways. Temporarily, you can just click on the legend and they will fade out. And um, when you want them back, you can click them back. If you want a more um, permanent removal, then you bring them up on the reaction filter table and you untick them and then they will be more removed, leaving just beryllium in this case. Great. Thanks very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the video.